Hey folks, let's look at the two foot, four foot rule that we're familiar with as electricians. People talk about this all the time. What does it mean? Well, we're talking about the spacing requirement for receptacle outlets that serve a countertop. Now, if you go look in the National Electrical Code, and we'll just say the 2023 edition because that's the latest one published. If you go look at 210.52C, you'll notice that any countertop that is 12 inches or greater is going to require a receptacle outlet. So that's the first rule. The next thing you'll notice is that in C1, it says that, look, you need to make sure that at any point along the wall line, and that's what this is here, the wall line of this counter, that there is a receptacle or at no point on that wall line are you more than 24 inches from a receptacle. Okay, so let's kind of break that down. So if you look at this piece right here, obviously this piece right here is more than 12 inches, so it's going to require a receptacle outlet. Now, what about the spacing? Well, this is a break in the counter right here, right? So we measure 24 inches this way. And I have to have a receptacle within 24 inches of this end. And I do. I got one right here. And then this end, which is the end of the counter, I have to have a receptacle within 24 inches. This one serves double duty. It serves this side and it'll serve this. So only need one here for this space. Now, you've heard the old saying two foot, four foot rule a lot. And what it's basically saying is if we come to this side of the range, here's the break in the countertop again. I can go up to... 24 inches from this break. Now I don't have to go 24, I could go 12 inches, 18 inches, but the maximum that I can go is 24 inches. Why? Because if I were to touch the wall right here at this break, I have to be within 24 inches of a receptacle. That's what the rule is. At no point on that wall line can I be more than 24 inches from a receptacle. Okay, so from this receptacle, how far can I go? I can go up to four feet. Why? Because if I touch the wall right in the middle between these two receptacles that are four feet spaced apart, am I within 24 inches of a receptacle? Absolutely. I'm within 24 inches of the one on the right and I'm within 24 inches of the one on the left. That is the two foot, four foot rule. Now, I can go and put them only one foot apart if I want. I can put them 12 inches apart if I want. That's a design choice. It's not the code. Codes are minimums. You can do more, you can go above code if you want, but that is your two foot, four foot rule requirement. Any point on this wall line, if I touch it, I have to be within 24 inches of a receptacle. Now remember from any end of a counter, I have to have one within 24 inches of the end. I have to have one within 24 inches up to 24 inches from the break in a countertop, like this range breaks the countertop. So I could put it six inches away, 10 inches away, 12 inches away, but I can go all the way up to 24 inches. And then I could go again up to four feet to the next one on that countertop and still be code compliant. All right. That explains the two foot, four foot rule. And that's what we're talking about in 210.52 uh, C1 when it comes to the spacing and the receptacle location layouts. Got any questions? Make sure you check our Fast Tracks program out. Learn more about the National Electrical Code. Take care.